everyone, we are in Kerkrade at the Art Gallery Kunstlokal. This is my artwork, Bitter Burgundy. Uh, it was created for this location and it was also heavily inspired by the local area. Um, I will give you a short description of its physical aspects, followed by more in-depth look at its inspiration. Uh, central to the artwork are large cir circular pods or buds from which derive a network of uh, crawling vines. Uh, the vines um, uh, form sort of the connection in between them to give an idea that it is a single shape that you are looking at. Um, I always try to incorporate um, the actual space the installation is made in and here with Bitter Burgundy, I want to show that the artwork has the mind of its own as the branches explore the gallery wall. Um, I want to push, but still subtly, the boundaries of the artwork as the outer branches sneak over to the next wall or even behind the curtain. Uh, the name Bitter Burgundy is something of a combination uh, of the various sources of inspiration behind the artwork. Uh, to give you a bit of a background from where we are, the gallery is situated on the grounds of a large abbey. Uh, some of the locally produced spirits contain a small fraction of wormwoods. This is extremely bitter tasting plant whose buds are said to have a medicinal effect. Um, a similar effect can be also evoked by the use of colors. Colors are tied to human emotion, just like herbs are tied to medicine. Red uh, is a very warm, intense color. It stands out, uh, it demands attention, and in many cultures, uh, it stands for a symbol of life. Uh, the other word, Burgundy, is another reference to the local area. Uh, locals um, uh, who live here in Limburg uh, see themselves above all as the Burgundiers, um, the advocates of Romers who see the greater pleasure behind the food and drinks. But Burgundy has also double meaning as it stands uh, for color of the artwork. Um, the deep uh, a red wine-like color named after French region. Uh, if you want to learn more about this artwork, please check out my website, monikaloster.com.